Well, hey everybody, this is Bill with iRide Tiny House Adventures. Deb is working up in the booth today at the campground, but that affords me the pleasure to introduce to you Mark and his faithful companion, Kono. Is that correct? Did I say his That's name it. correctly? That's Kono. And uh, what breed is he? A uh, mini Australian Shepherd, Blue Merrill. Well, he is just the sweetest dog in the world, aren't you, Kono? Yes, you are. You are a sweet <laughs> little... Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, everybody he comes up to is a friend. Isn't yes, right? he is. He's anyway. a friendly person. Yeah, sure enough. But Mark has, he showed up here in the campground, came to visit us, and he showed up with this beautiful, let me back up here so we can get a good shot of it, but this is a beautiful 8.5 by 24, and what brand is it, Mark? It's a cargo mate by Forest River. Uh, it's a true toy hauler, technically. It's got the recessed ramp in the back, so you know, when you come in with the side-by-side -side of the car, what it's originally for, it's easier to get in. One of the things, when I first saw you pull into the campground, I couldn't help but notice that your mini split here matches the trailer. Tell yeah. us how we ended up with that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little anal. <laughs> so I went ahead and just took off the, the excess panels and everything and just did a light sand and then got some Rust-Oleum uh, primer paint and painted them. Well, it, they, it matches just almost perfect. It's just gorgeous the way it goes along with the trailer. And I see you got a couple of propane tanks there. Why don't you go ahead and tell us what the propane yeah, tanks are propane for? Propane tanks are strictly just for my hot water heater. Um, I've got one of those little tankless hot water heaters in there. And so I've got it for that. And I also got a quick disconnect here. That's basically just for a gas grill if I want. And I've got a little single burner uh, stovetop outside. And that's strictly all it's for. I like the way you enclosed the uh, refrigeration lines and everything that go to the uh, air handler on the inside. What did you use yeah, to cover that is that a, It's just a kit that I, I got on Amazon and I want to say it comes in like an almond color and as well I, I just put a light sand on it and painted it and the guy that installed the AC for me wasn't as anal as me so if you see it's not as connected so I'm going to fix that. I've got, uh, I've got the right stuff to get that all to connect properly. Sure. But it's made for mini splits. Uh, for houses or whatever, so I bought it okay. for here to do it that way. And I couldn't help but notice that you have a directional TV antenna. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that. And it was working quite well because you had a football game going on on the inside when we were walking through the inside. But I like this simple yet functional way you came up with to attach it to the side of the trailer. And obviously this is a painter's pole, right? Yep, that's, that's a 12-foot yeah. painter's pole, classical uh -huh. aluminum. And all I did, you know, these are just suction cups that, you know, I guess technically they move glass. Very inexpensive. I ordered on Amazon as well. And I've done this before in a previous trailer I had. And that's what made me do it again. And just a little Velcro straps. This pulls ultra light. I mean, and up there, I was trying to figure out how to attach it. And I just took one of them little floaties and bungeed it. Well, because that was what I had in my truck. And actually, yeah. it worked perfect. So I'm like, that's, I'm done. Of course, that's your fresh water tank, Phil, right yeah, there. Uh, fresh water tank here, mm -hmm. uh, city water here, mm -hmm. you know, that's the outlet. And then here, that's another outdoor hot cold. Uh, it's got the spray and all that I keep in the truck. Sure. And then this right here, when we go inside, this is a exhaust fan because it's a compost toilet. So that little thing right there just sucks the little gases out, you know, and mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And. Uh, you made your compost, which we'll see more about it when we go inside, but you made yours from a kit as well, right? Like we did. Yeah, I've got the urine separator right. and then the five gallon bucket for Home Depot <laughs> and then bags. And then uh, the pine pellets from Tractor Supply I use. It's the greatest thing ever. I hear you, I, I hear it. you, for sure. And then right here, this is for shower water, you know, fresh water. And then if I want to connect the uh, urine separated to it I can if I'm hooked up so it's for either or okay and it's just a quick disconnect that's what I wanted it's a when it when I connect it I got a three-quarter inch hose and it can go into wherever it has to it's very simple of course here's your power inlet yep 30 amp power inlet mm -hmm. and then if you notice the light I've got uh these white lights oh yeah I've got uh one in the front one here two in the rear 
Well, let's, uh, I'll tell you what, we've already done walked around the outside and we've pointed out the different things here. So we're going to come back and go inside and folks, you're in for a real treat. All right. All right. Let's All do right, it. Let's go inside. All right. So we're looking at uh, the nose of the trailer here. So Mark, I'm just going to turn it over to you and let you start talking. All right. Well, starting up here as well. I sanded this as well and it painted this with the silver hammered uh, rust -Oleum paint just to kind of match everything. Uh, made the cabinets myself. The doors I had somebody make, but the cabinets are for my clothes. You know, old traditional roll them up, space savers. And then here I got you know, towels and all the stuff there. It's a full bed. Uh, eventually I'm gonna have this part that's separated where it'll slide out. And when it does slide out, then you take this cushion and the one from the rear, turn it, and then you've got uh, basically a, almost a king bed. Wow. So if you if I got someone down the road, and then oh, so storage is under here. I've got a 33 gallon fresh water tank with my pump, and everything streamlined. I kept everything in line, so very little uh, maneuvering. And then here is my hanging clothes, right there. And then I've got my underwear and socks there. More storage under here. That's where I keep. Um, pots and some cooking equipment and all that mm -hmm. and then if you notice the walls are all quarter inch cedar plank extremely lightweight from Home Depot so that's what I did the walls and the ceiling everything is in cedar and then I finished it all the woodwork was finished prior to putting in I had my shop and I had uh, four tables spread out so I come home and even I put three coats of uh, lacquer on it satin uh, coat, light sand, coat, light sand, coat, and then I'd come back with steel wool. I steel wooled every piece to get the perfect sheen. Well, it came out really nice. It really, really did. So, it, it was a project, but I just was like, let me make it right. Tell us about uh, these, these switches All right, this here is my this control does. box for my 12 volt. Uh, that's going to be my awning, and then my camera system, which is here, which you'll see is upside down, <laughs> and after researching it, that's the factory they all do it so I have to replace that for the cameras and then I've got these are all my light switches for the front rear uh, all those sides LED uh, amber light uh, inside LEDs and then ceiling lights and these they they pretty much all the rope lights they run pretty much <coughs> well they do run all the way around the trailer. yeah run them all the way around I've mm -hmm. got this dead spot here um, mm -hmm. that was my fault I had my last screw to put in on that corner piece one evening I was tired and then my screw tip slipped out and then hit the light and so now I've got the splicing kit to do it and so next rainstorm this week I'll fix it and then it'll all work awesome awesome and then this is just the I built this box I think I've got eight screws in, in the rear and then I've got the, the strap around it and then this piece here, I've got a little jack that I just put there, crank it up, and it'll help keep it from bouncing while driving. Yeah. It stays in place. That's a good idea. And then this is the only thing I drain. Put that on the floor when we go, mm -hmm. and done. Well, let's talk about the uh, bathroom. Okay. Yep. We're real close to it right here. Yep. Compost toilet, the traditional Home Depot five gallon bucket. And then you get the urine separator. You know, it's very, very easy. And I use the pine pellets from tractor supply and uh, with that little fan it's a zero odor and then you look you can do the bucket or I can move, take this off and then put it down for a hookup to a septic system if you got full hookups mm -hmm. so I got either option it's on demand hot water and it gets hot um, I was very surprised how hot it got but you got when you do it you make sure I turn that fan on up top and that sucks a little air out the gas is out. That fan's got a light all around it. Yeah, too. it's got a light. I'm gonna add a couple more cordless rechargeable lights in there just so you have a little and I'll open it up and you can get up in here. But I put that energy saver and I think it's uh gnome if I remember right. I saw it from a, a schoolie channel. Yeah. And um but it works 32 inch by 24 inch shower pan and uh plenty enough space for cleanup. Really nice really nice really really nice all right well let's head back towards the back of course i can't help but notice you got a berkey over here yep this right here um i think is from your channel uh that thing is 
unbelievable. We love ours. I run water through it nonstop and then put them in there and then keep them below. But this thing, I use it every day. Mm -hmm. And then the you know the cabinets, if you want to take a quick peek, sure. I built these, saw all my storage. I like to cook a lot and keep a lot. And so I've got all my spices, some adult beverages down there. Can't keep home without it. I'm glad Deb's not with me or she wants something and then like this. more storage here. I know this is what Deb wanted, so I, I got it for uh -huh. a little fireball. Oh. <laughs> she, she never turns down fireball. I, she said it, so I was at the store the other day. I saw the little Halloween kit, so I bought a kit. Well. And then just a little simple, I think it's a 3.3 cubic feet fridge freezer. I was nervous at first, didn't know if it would be big enough. It's just me. I got enough food in there for two weeks. Really? Yeah, between the freezer and I like to cook enough to where I can eat three or four days. But it's leftovers and I just cross utilize what I cook to make different types of meals. Sure. But I've got a lot of storage, so we're good there. And then my kitchen cabinets, uh, that was something I couldn't figure out. And I came up with a toolbox. So this is the greatest thing. It's solid. It won't break from like, you know, the cabinets. And you, I've just got all the space in the world for all of my supplies. Right. And that truly is the cool thing about using something like that because... And it know, locks and you ain't got to worry about it when exactly. we're driving. Nothing slides out. Yeah, it's something that we always point out in our videos that these things are rolling earthquakes going down the road. Yeah, the first month I wasn't really ready yet as far as stuff being secured. So every stop was like, all right, take a half an hour and move stuff around. When I found <laughs> you, it finally got up my butt. And then the last week, I just got everything finished. And uh, countertop is Butcher Block from Lowe's. And then I used um, an aging process of chemical. I can't remember the name of the stuff. But I just aged it before I uh, put the finish on it. And I love it because it's just real natural looking. Well, it really I wanted nice. that cabin feel, and that's kind of what you know came out with. Absolutely. And then paint it. You know everything else in this this gray and mm -hmm. that's blue. It's contra contrast. And let's see. And then of course over here you got your sink. Yep, deep sink. Uh, I think it's sixteen by sixteen um, residential faucet. And then I've got this stuff up here. So when driving, everything stays in place. This is all putty down. So. I ain't gonna have to worry about moving that. I see. So that doesn't go nowhere. Even that's got these little bungees on it. I've got a, a U, uh, bracket in the center here and it's on each end so it won't go anywhere. And then all of the uh, decor, uh, my LSU and you know, all insane stuff, yeah. it's all putty down too so none of that comes off. So when I go, I just strap things down, put the Berkey in the sink, I put my gray tank in here, strap it down, and I'm pretty much ready to go. So you're, uh, this is electric, I'm assuming. Yep, electric fireplace, uh -huh. um, heater. And so I've got two heater sources in here between the mini split, which is AC heat dehumidifier, and I've got this heater. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, I never thought I'd ever use it, but it's been cold and wet the last couple of days. I know, tell me um, about it. So I turn in the morning, you know, I'm sitting in here, I turn that one off and just put this one on low and it works fine. Wow. And it nice. actually cools, warms the whole place down. Well, this is just awesome. Tell us about how this uh, couch breaks <clears throat> down. All right, this whole design was for my side-by-side. -side. Believe it or not, in this space back here, you can fit a side-by-side. -side. I had a 2020 T-Rex 4 LE, 32-inch tire, 6-inch lift. It fit in here. This right here, this section here has cotter pins, so this can pop off. This section here, it folds up. So if you notice, right here it's hinged so it's on hinges and it just folds up and I just strap it to the wall so I kept it where it's inside the wheel wells so I can still without all the stuff in here because I'm living in it you could still have this as a true toy hauler still so that's why I designed it like this so when I do want to use it as a toy hauler down the road I can still use it to bring a side by side that is awesome truly awesome and it's got the slope floor which you can't notice mm -hmm. but it slopes down yeah, it's a dovetail type floor, yep. right? Yeah. So obviously, in order to compensate for that, the back leg uh, yeah, on back. this is it's longer. Yeah, they're a little longer. Right. Yep. yep. So that's what I had. That that seat right there is made for a tall person. 
Gotcha. Yep. So this is a little taller, but the these cushions here, the front and here, um, I was gonna buy regular you know, the foam for a couch. It was expensive, so I just went ahead and ordered memory foam mattresses. My buddy had a shop. He cut them for me and upholstered them for me. Wow. Well, they look really nice. Very comfortable. I mean, it's a it's a bed mattress, so it's actually another place for somebody to sleep. Good. So yeah, it's a, that's an eight inch mattress, just like the one I sleep on. Same same mattress. So if Deb ever kicks me out, I She's can look, I can look you up. Yep. And you I got a place to sleep. And then you notice I do have the table. That's right. Um, this is which I've table. never used. That's the tabletop, and I just I never use it. I just use this and eat outside ninety nine percent of the time. But it's there. Basically, I figured I'd bring that for a rainy day with friends. We can uh, come in here. Have a few drinks, play some cards, cut up, you know, that type sure. of deal. Absolutely. And then I just put this up yesterday, more storage. This corner here was turning into a pigsty. This was what? <laughs> just bouncing everywhere. <laughs> so yesterday I had everything with me. I brought I had everything to finish. This was just an idea I came up with. They were on the floor. I'm like, oh, let me just mount them to the wall. So everything's up. I've got, you know, Kono's dog food down there. That's my pellets and then my shower bag and all that, but try to keep everything tight. And so when we go to leave, everything's already in place. Mark, we really appreciate you taking the time to show us your your uh, creation here. Thank it's, you. It's really absolutely beautiful. It really is. And I, it really came out nice and it's functional and it works for you. And like Deb and I always say, that's all that matters. That's it. That's right. That's it. And, and as time goes on, You'll see other places where you can make a few improvements here yeah. and there as well. Yeah, I've got some ideas, a few more shelves and stuff, you know. Like I did the spice rack there. I've got spices everywhere. But yeah. Yeah, I've got some things I'll change up uh, just for storage. That's the key. Yeah. Storage. Absolutely. Well, we are, we are really tickled to death that you reached out to us and wanted to come and see us and uh, took the time to show us uh, your trailer here. And I'm sure all of our followers will enjoy watching it as well. Good, good, good. So, uh, we, uh, we wish you safe travels and enjoyable travels, you and Kono. Kono has his own Instagram page. That's right. You was telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, a friend talked me into it. So um, I started him uh, uh, Instagram page when we stop. It's all him. Uh, Kono's Adventures um, on Instagram. Kono's Adventures on Instagram. Yep. So if they go in and look at Instagram, they just type in Kono's Adventures. And I'm yeah. assuming that's with a K. Yeah, with a K. Uh -huh. And it's a, at the end, it's a dot S, but it's a picture of a, him, Blue Merrill. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm sure a lot of folks will need to look that up. All, all yeah, up please do. Yeah. I mean, he needs some followers. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's worth following. He is the <laughs> sweetest thing in the world, I tell you what. Well, we, I really enjoyed uh, my visit with you, and Deb and I both have. And uh, here again, thank you for showing us your, your creation here. Uh, but we're going to sign off for now. So anyway, this is Bill. And sorry Deb couldn't be here, but this is Bill and Mark for I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And as we always say, we're not camping, we are... Living. Exactly. Y'all take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.